And next tonight, we take you inside a private family feud playing out on the national stage. The two daughters of former Vice President Dick Cheney, both of them moms, both of them married. One is straight, the other is gay. And now the sisters are squaring off over the meaning of family and marriage. Even their parents are weighing in. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. It all started when Liz Cheney, the daughter of the former vice president, came out against same-sex marriage in her campaign for Senate in Wyoming. That's not a surprising position for a Republican in Wyoming, but Liz's younger sister, Mary, is married to Heather Poe, and the lesbian couple has two children. Listen, I love Mary very much. I love her family very much. This is just an issue on which we disagree. Her sister, Mary, responded on Facebook. This isn't just an issue on which we disagree. You're just wrong and on the wrong side of history. Her wife, Heather Poe, added, Liz has been a guest in our home, has spent time and shared holidays with our children. And when Mary and I got married in 2012, she didn't hesitate to tell us how happy she was for us. To have her say she doesn't support our right to marry is offensive to say the least. Mary Cheney responded, I couldn't have said it better myself. I don't think you've ever seen Cheney's you know, disagree in public like this. And it's not just, uh, we respectfully disagree. It, it's personal, it's, 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 it's angry. Public attitudes on this have shifted dramatically over the last decade. A strong majority now believe gay marriage should be legal. And just this fall, former President George H.W. Bush was a witness at a wedding of two women. Man, we talked to former Vice, Vice President, President Cheney shortly yeah. after Mary and, and Heather very, were very married last place. year. Lynn and I were very proud and happy and congratulated them. They've been an important part of the family for a long time. Provided us with two of our seven grandkids. And you're proud of them? Absolutely. In a statement today, the former Vice President and his wife Lynn said, this is an issue we have dealt with privately for many years and we are pained to see it become public. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington.